This is Adam Johnson with the St. Louis Post Dispatch. I'm here at the Obama campaign St. Louis headquarters. Uh, there's some sort of a volunteer appreciation night. Senator McCaskill's been here earlier. Now, ladies, tell me, uh, tell me your name. Tell me where you're from, and tell me why you're out here. One at a time. My name is Emma. I'm from New York, but I'm working here in Missouri because it's such an important battleground state, and it's good where we can get Obama elected. Um, I'm Erica Breeze, and I'm from Illinois, but I'm interning in the Missouri because it's such a huge battleground state. It's been a determinist election. Now we've heard a lot about the youth vote in this election. What do you guys think? Are young people going to turn out? I think the young people are going to turn out in record numbers this year. We've had an unprecedented number of new voter registration of young 18 to 25 voters. I think that they can recognize themselves and their future in Obama because he's more relatable to the youth and less detached than John McCain, which is going to provide the kind of green jobs and um, new jobs that our economy needs as we all graduate from college and head out into the workforce. Now, we hear a lot about how the youth sometimes aren't in touch with the issues, you know, not having to pay property taxes, you know, you've got insurance through your parents or through your school. How do you think the issues are resonating this time, or how how can, you know, folks connect, how can the youth connect with the issues? He's definitely going to do a lot with college funding, with the community service that he's going to do if you do so many hours and pay for so much of your schooling. It's definitely going to help with the tuition prices raising. Uh, with the economy being really bad right now, that's going to eventually affect us uh, long term and short term. So I think he really reaches out to us in that way. And he's more closer, he's closer to our generation. So it's really going to help with the youth to look up to him because he knows how we feel. I guess I'm going to continue to play devil's advocate because the youth vote has been so fickle in the past. How do you get past the, the apathy sometimes? Uh, that interest you know, sort of ebbs and flows, that you know, maybe a party too hard the night before and you don't, you don't actually get up and vote or the line's long at the polls. How do you, how do you get folks to, to stick with it? It's sort of this sort of idea of the neighbor-to-neighbor -neighbor idea that Obama has where you, know, you are aware of the issues and you're for Obama. You make sure that all of your friends are getting out to the polls. You don't let someone say, oh, I just want to sit on my couch. And I don't know, I haven't encountered any young person who feels that way. Everyone feels like our future has been really detrimentally affected by the past eight years, and Obama represents someone who we can all relate to and who will actually motivate people. He's such a more motivational person that people want to get involved in the campaign. They want to get out and vote. They want to get their friends to vote. I think we're going to see an absolutely unprecedented number of youth, youth votes this year. Okay, well, this has been Adam Johnson with the St. Louis Post Dispatch. Thanks very much, ladies. For more coverage of this election, go to stltoday.com slash politics.